Hi everybody, uh, just going to do another quick video on the Wave Sport oh, Scooter X. There don't seem to be many videos on this kayak. Uh, obviously as you can see it's a sit on top kayak. Um, when we was in the market to buy one we've sort of progressed through inflatables up to uh, other sit on kayaks but they didn't seem to cut the mustard so obviously after doing a bit more research and we come across this company called wave sport they're based up north in england uk um but they're very good but there isn't a lot of information and there certainly isn't a lot of videos on there so anyway without further ado we're just going to quickly run through we'll start at the uh the bow of the boat uh construction wise absolutely amazing quality i must admit we're not paid for this at all it's just literally a an honest review of what we found and you can see it's very well made the boat weighs i think it's just under is it 22 kilos i think it's not very heavy at all uh, i could be wrong there but as for build quality it's just amazing it really is um cuts through the water well very smooth it glides along however tracking it does seem to suffer a little bit because it's only a 10 foot boat tracking is not very good um, but then i don't think that was the initial design it is it is built for um sort of calm waters they say it can go on the sea which i'm sure it can do um but it's just it's it's just a fun sit on top kayak but it performs very well um like i said starting off at the top uh as you can see it's all solid there's no hatches or anything like that this boat does suffer with storage issues but it makes up in quality um as you can see you've got a cup holder there uh, which is very good you also have scuttle plugs there um, it does it it doesn't come with it so we had to um, buy our own and it does fill up with water um, which is a bit of a shame and it has a little hatch there but the hatch is absolutely tiny and nigh on impossible to get off <laughs> uh, there you go um, Moving down, it's got carry handles on there, which are seriously well built. They are, it's, it is solid, absolute solid boat. Um, it's got plugs under there as well. Um, the seat itself is very well made. I think it's their premium seat they do. Uh, no complaints there at all. Absolutely brilliant, well made. Uh, yeah, no negatives from that whatsoever. You've got storage in the back, which is very good. Uh, once again, you've got scupper plugs in the back. It does take on water though. Um, so I advise, don't put anything in there. You don't want to get wet or use dry bags. But, um, yeah, so, so there it looks. Very good, very, very good. I'll show you a quick uh, look at the hole, if I can turn it over. Apologize about the camera work here. There you go. But yeah, it's very, very well made. We bought one from a company called Kent Kayaks and uh, they were very proactive. We had a problem with one of them and uh, he took it back, replaced it, no problems at all. But as you can see, the hole, very well designed, um, although the, it does, like I say, it doesn't track that well. But I don't think that was ever the, the design with this. It's more for, you can do some pretty cool stunts on these. They're absolutely amazing once you get to, to know how to use them. Um, they're very agile, um, sort of for scooting around uh, trees, things like that. Absolutely brilliant. I've sort of done a few silly things on it where I've spun around, completely submerged the deck and it floats. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Cost was, I think we paid 650 quid from the store. We went down there and picked them up. So obviously you can get them cheaper online, but you don't know what you're buying. So. Um, in comparison, there's a company called um, Cambridge Kayaks that we've had in the past sit on tops. And these these are just sort of next level um, kayaks. So all in all, just a quick video, just to sort of put it out there, because I know there isn't a lot of information out there on these. Well, not that I could find anyway. And I did sort of search for a good couple of weeks prior to purchasing what well, we bought two of these. Um, the other one fits in there, as you can see. Um, this is a full transit custom, actually, um, and they do actually fit in there. This is the long wheelbase version of the Mark 8 Transit. Um, but yeah, fit in there very well. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, just as a little side note for all you transit custom owners, long wheelbase, 
You can actually get a 12 foot pelican in there as well. <laughs> but I digress. Anyway guys, thanks a lot. I hope this was uh, relatively informative. I'm just trying to help people who's going to purchase one. Thank you. Bye bye.